Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing these hand painted, hand drawn line flowers. Um, I did this over the weekend after I received my first shipment of pop up color paints and this is what I made with it. So let me show you guys how I did it. So this is what my first order of pop of color paint consisted of. I had already opened everything and painted the tops of the container so I knew which paint color was in which container. Pop of color is a sister company to Counterculture DIY so you know we already love them. Um, this is a chalk finish paint. You can use this on furniture, on canvases, on tumblers. Um, I I was really excited to try these. I set up my station with a cup of water, some paper towels, and then I used a paper plate to pour the paints on. I used a paper plate instead of individual cups because I knew I was gonna end up mixing some of the colors together. These first four colors that I'm using are Lamb's Wool, Jade, Bordeaux, and Pure White. Um, I was kind of going for a fall vibe. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I just really like those colors, so I went with it. Um, I am using a 30-ounce non-taper skinny from Griffin Blanks. Uh, this cup has been sitting in my craft room for I don't know how long. Uh, it is a chalk finish spray paint that is on it, but I honestly couldn't tell you what color it is because I sprayed it so long ago. When I got these paints, I had no idea what I was going to do with them. I just knew that I had to put them on a tumbler and just go from there. So you honestly do not have to do this part. Um, there are going to be a lot of parts that are sped up in the beginning because I was not sure what I was going to do. Um, so this is me just playing around, uh, doing some type of background for it, and uh, testing out the paints, seeing how it worked. They're great paints. They go on the tumbler very smoothly. Um, I used a variety of paint brushes that I got off of Amazon and chip brushes. Uh, just to get different textures and so then I was like let me try a flower so I started doing a flower and then I realized how much I hated this flower <laughs> so I was like ma this isn't gonna work now if you follow KT canvases on TikTok and you've seen her artwork it is absolutely stunning it's beautiful it's honestly I'm obsessed with her I've been following her since I got on TikTok and so as I was doing the flowers I was like let me try and do how she does her florals while her florals are 1000% better than mine I definitely wanted to try it so basically all you do is you just put blobs of paint um, all over the tumbler my goal was to do different shades of these colors mixing the colors together um, and just doing these rough circles they don't have to be perfect you could put some bumps in them you could make them um, odd shaped like a splatter almost um, it's really up to you now I didn't just mix the paint on the plate I also mixed it as I was painting it and even though a lot of the paint that I put on there was pretty thick it all dried fairly quickly so that was awesome because if you know me you know I'm super duper impatient and I didn't want to wait to move on to the next step and I didn't have to so this took me probably I want to say about an hour to do um, the paint part it honestly it took me an hour and a half to do this entire tumbler before putting epoxy on it so this was something I really enjoyed doing it was something relaxing I could do sitting in my kitchen watching tv with my family and hanging out um, I definitely had fun doing this it was I was a I was able to let my creativity just take over um and so here it is. <laughs> um, I really liked the Bordeaux, which is that like deep wine color, and the Lamb's Wool, which is like an off-white tan color. I really, really, really liked those um, all together. So that was that was definitely one of my favorite combinations. And then I also adding in some of that jade green brought out uh, made the purple a little bit different uh, with that tint of green so have fun with it I mean mix colors um, this is just a close-up showing you how I did the circles um, make them overlap they don't have to be perfect this is literally just have fun with it like this is what this tumbler is is have fun with it don't get stressed out they're literally circles on a tumbler um, I 
don't know how well the paint is on a glossy spray paint base. Um, it, I will say that it worked very, very well on this um, flat spray paint. Actually, I think it was chalked. It was a chalked spray paint base. Uh, I do recommend spray painting your base prior to painting it um, with the pop of color paints. I do not recommend coating it with the pop of color paints. Um, you could also use the CC DIY primer that they have and base coat your cup. Completely up to you, but I definitely recommend base coating your cup prior to putting on the paints. Now, once I was done with this, I went ahead and added um, some greenery. So this is a slowed up close up version of what I was doing. They're just rough leaves. They're not perfect. Um, again, have fun with it. They don't have to be perfect. Um, they can overlap a little bit. I had some go under flowers. I had some go over the flowers. It was, again, not that serious, I guess you could say. Um, but, yep, uh, so this is going to be sped up, showing you that all the different flowers, or flowers, the leaves that I added on there, the greenery, just to add a, another pop of color. And then after I was done adding these leaves, I was like, you know what? I feel like I need more variety of color on here. So what I did was I went ahead and added deep blush, hot pink, and old army green onto my plate and mixed those up with the colors that I already had on there. Um, these were just something a little bit different um, to add a, a pop of color. I, I wanted more color on there to stand out than just like the shades of purple that were on there. So the deep blush and the hot pink as well as the lamb's wool made a really cute like peachy type color. It was, um, I guess you could say it was like a blush peach color, which I really liked and I thought added a little bit more to this cup. So I added in spots that I felt could probably use more flowers or more covered coverage. I went ahead and added those little circles of that color. I then mixed together um, the jade, the old army green, some of the deep blush, and then the mixture that I had made. I mixed that together and started painting additional leaves to add more color than just that jade. So doing this, I added that or, and or, and I also, I, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> um, and I also covered up some of the leaves I already did with the jade with that green. Um, and leaving some of them the same color, changing up the shading, this way it again not only were the flowers a different color but the leaves were as well so before we get to the paint pen part i wanted to show you guys a close-up example of what of how i did the line flowers so it literally is just a bunch of squiggles it can start off any way that you want um and then i just went around just like this on every single one of those flowers it takes patience, it's tedious, it takes time, but this was something that was really relaxing to me at least. Uh, it may not be relaxing to you, but um, we're all different. So I just went around. There was no method to the madness other than I tried not to start where one would end, where like a petal would end. And um, this is not the best example because I don't think these colors go together. So this flower probably looks crazy and you're probably gonna be like, Sarah, what are you about to do to this cup? But this was the only close-up I really had of what I did that made sense. So I took these paint pens that I got from Walmart. I found these paint pens. I thought I would try them out. I usually use Arteza acrylic paint pens, but I really liked these. Um, this first one was terrible. Uh, I wasn't sure what I was doing at first. I just kind of guessed. Um, so this one is not my favorite, but I wanted to show you a close-up. Um... This one I wanted to try something different and uh, I did and that's what it turned out like. And then once I did that one, I kind of got into a rhythm of how I wanted them to be. So it made it easier for me to actually do 
the rest of the cup. So it was like once I found my rhythm, I I knew what I wanted to do and I went from there. Now you could always practice this on a piece of paper like you saw in the beginning, that highlighter and that marker to see how you're going to do it before you do the paint pen on there because you're if you put the paint pen directly on the paint before you epoxy, you're not going to be able to wipe it up versus if you were to epoxy first and then paint pen. Um, now that's completely up to you as well. You could epoxy first and then do the paint pen. I did not do that. Um, it, the paint pen was fine going directly on it. If you do use a super fine tip paint pen and you don't have a good base layer of spray paint, it is going to cut through some of the pop of color. So if you don't have it on there and it's not like fully dry, it might cut through and show the silver at the bottom. Um, there was a few different thicknesses of pens that I got from Walmart. This was in like the crafting slash back to school section. Um, so on the bigger flowers, I used the, the fine tip marker and then the smaller flowers, I had used the ultra fine marker. The medium tip marker was a little bit too thick for my liking on this cup so I didn't use it but um, I just did this throughout the entire cup. I do kind of recommend starting at the top and working your way down because I um, wasn't really thinking about it as I was doing it until as I was doing it but when you start at in the middle or just do random like me um, you end up putting your hand in it. Anyways, so I did a close-up to show you guys how I did the lines in correlation with surrounding flowers. So as you can see, these are overlapping flowers. And what I did was I did the same thing, but I just stopped and started where another flower may be. And then I went ahead and I did my leave. Um, I wasn't really sure how to do the leaves, so a lot of them are different on this cup because I wasn't sure 100% what to do. <laughs> so, yep, anyways, so then I just went around and I would stop and start where the other flowers or leaves were, and then that was that. Um, I know this video is super sped up, and that's only because this was literally two and a half hours of footage, and I really don't think you guys wanted to sit there and watch me draw all of these flowers it literally would have taken forever so there's that <laughs> um but once you're done uh drawing all of your lines and you are satisfied with how your cup looks you do not have to seal this if you don't want to you could probably throw some quick coat on there i did not try it um to see but it it seemed fine um i i put epoxy right on top of it i didn't have to seal it with any clear spray paint i didn't have to seal it with anything at all um, i would want to make sure that your marker and your paint is 1000 percent dry before you put epoxy on it because you don't want to end up smearing anything but uh, other than that you really didn't have to seal anything i also thought which I did not do with this cup, but I considered doing. How cool would this cup be after you epoxied everything? How cool would it be to make it completely matte? Like that would be cool. I think that would look super cute. So I think I'm gonna try that. Um, not with this cup because I added glitter to it. So that would be dumb to make it matte because there's glitter. But um, I think that would be cool to have a cup like this to make it matte. And the best thing is too, is you can use like any color scheme, like go on Pinterest and look up color palettes and be like, you know what? I think these colors look really good together and then make flowers with it. And this can go with any season of the year, if you think about it, because this is kind of like fall, fallish, but you could do brighter colors if you wanted to make it spring. Actually, I feel like this could be both spring and fall because of the colors. I feel like you could go with both, but completely up to you. It, endless possibilities. This is what I'm trying to do. Endless possibilities always. So <laughs> this is the final result after all the lines, after all the paint, and I was super happy with it. So here is 25, actually I think I did 30, 30 milliliters of CC DIY Facet. I went ahead and tapped a little bit of a little bit of bright from peachy olive glitter into my epoxy um, just to add a little sparkle to my cup 
Bright from PGLF Glitter is one of my favorite glitters to add to epoxy if I just want a little bit of sparkle and don't want to cover my cup, if that makes sense. So once I epoxied my cup, I went ahead and cut my decal. I got this decal off of Etsy from Bear Trends Design. I searched forever to find the perfect decal and I thought, hey, florals, bloom with grace, why not do this one? But I also wanted to show you guys this cool little trick that you probably probably have already seen, and I think I've done it in another video, um, of how to do layering of uh, decals or vinyl, layering vinyl. So what I did was I took the transfer tape and I did the top portion first and made sure it was on my transfer tape. I then took a little piece of parchment or wax paper, whatever you have, and covered the original design. But the overlapping portion um, at the top of the decal, I left so that it could stick to the, um, the backing of the bottom decal. This way I could line it up and it's hard to see on camera in person. It's a lot easier, especially when there's not a camera overhead so I can like look directly down at it, but I'm able to line up my decal with a uh, little effort and then for some reason, my transfer tape has just been sucking lately all around and would not stick. So um, I went ahead and pulled that off. So the top piece I used is from Annie Tay's. It's from the Flynn Sister Collection and it's called Antique Rose. And then I just went ahead and used a regular Oracle 631 white. Um, I then sanded the entire cup and cleaned it off with 91% alcohol. I used a 100 grit sanding block. Um, there were some bubbles from the paint for some reason, not a big deal. Um, and then I went ahead and added my decal right there in the middle. I thought that antique rose pattern vinyl was super perfect in color for this cup to make it stand out, but still go with the cup. So I went ahead and stuck that on and then I did 25 milliliters of CCDIY fast set epoxy. And then I went ahead and sanded the tumbler again, making sure I hit the top edge and the bottom to make sure it was completely smooth. I did an 80 grit sanding block. You could also do 100 grit or 120 would work just fine. And then once that was cleaned and sanded, I added my final coats of epoxy, which was about 20 to 30 milliliters. And then we were done. Um, this was a, I want to say super easy cup. It was more of like a relaxing cup. I really enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you check out the description below for a list of supplies and materials as well as some discount codes. And make sure you like this video. Comment a color palette you think would look really cool with this design. Make sure you subscribe, do the notification bell, and I will see you guys next time.